Hello everyone, my name is Vipul Jain and in this video I am going to show you that how you can call an external API in Power Automate. So in this particular video I am going to create an account with uh, API, API so that we can consume that API and can get the access key and then we can create the Power Automate instant flow and we will see how you can get the temperature of a particular city by calling that api so i'm going to use a weather kind of a api in this video so let's see this in action so this is the weatherstack.com where i have logged in i have created an account a free account i have logged in with my account now and i can access the api key you can see this this is the api key which i can use weatherstock.com slash dashboard now if i run this url to get the api which is api.weatherstack.com and i provide the access key as the query parameter and the city name as the query parameter it gives me a json kind of format okay so what we are going to do is that i am going to create a flow i am going to create a flow and we will see that how you can basically call this external api call this external api which is api.weatherstack.com i am just passing the access key and the name of the city for which i want to get the weather details okay so i will say manually start a trigger i will use the trigger as manually starting the trigger i have added manually trigger a flow and then I'm going to use a premium action here. Please remember, I'm using a premier, premium action here, which is HTTP. Okay. So I'm going to use this HTTP premium section, not this HTTP swagger or HTTP webhook. I'm going to use this action, which is HTTP, a premium action. So I'm going to set only two properties, two mandatory properties here. One is the method, since I want to get the details from that API. So I'm using the get method. And for the URI, you can use the same URI because it is having the access key and the name of the city for which you want to get the weather details. That's it. So what we are doing is method is get and URI is api.weatherstack.com slash current and question mark access key is equal to my access key which I showed you that this is the access key which you can also generate by doing a free uh, creating a free account and logging in with that account on this particular website weatherstack.com slash dashboard let's save uh, before saving let's give a name so call external api let me save this flow the flow is getting saved and now let's test it so i want to run it manually i'll click on test Call external API, my flow is ready. So run flow. I clicked on run flow and the flow has run successfully. Let's click on done. Now you see when the flow has run successfully, we can see the output in the HTTP premium action what has been generated. So you see here UI, UI, URI is the URI which we provided for the city Jaipur to get the temperature details. The status code is 100, which means it's success. And now the body, this is very important in the body, you are getting some parameters. So location, name, country, region, and so on. And in the current property, you are getting the temperature. Now, this is the JSON which has been generated as the output, which you can definitely use. Now, what I want to do is I want to showcase the temperature of the city. Okay, so let's edit the flow once again. Okay. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to create a variable. I'm, I want to initialize a, a variable. So I will click on initialize variable in the flow. I want to give the name of this variable. So city temperature. Okay. Type I will keep it as float. All right. Now this is the variable has been initialized. Now as last step, I want to set this variable. So I will again go to variable and i will select set variable the variable which we have created i can select this variable as city temperature now the most important part is the value so i'm going to use an expression here to uh, get the value or to create the value for this variable to set the value 
So I'm going to use the function body and I go to dynamic content. I can use the body from the previous step as well. And you, you have seen that I've shown you that to get the temperature, first of all, you have to call the current. So I'm calling current because that was the property. And in this property, there was an attribute which is temperature and click on OK. So now what I'm doing is I have created a variable or initialized a variable with the name city temperature and I'm setting the value of that variable because that value I'm receiving in this HTTP action. So let's save it again. Our flow is ready and we have called the external API using HTTP premium connector. Now let's test this app manually, test this flow, test call external API, run flow. The flow has ran successfully and click on done. All right, so now you see if I go to this HTTP again, it is giving me the URI, which, has, which we have called the output, the body, which is the temperature, which I want to get in the current attribute. We have a temperature property. And now in the set variable, you can see the variable is 29 which is there in your JSON also. So that's it. That's it in this video. I have shown you that how easy it is to call an external API in Power Automate, be it any external system, any line of business or third party system, be it Salesforce, SAP, SAP endpoints, REST endpoints and so on. Thank you.